The longer the shaft gets, the more the shaft droops. Drooping would be like the toe of the club goes down. So a pitching wedge will not droop as much as a three iron. What gears curve does is it identifies, generally speaking, we flatten the wedges and we make the long irons more upright to compensate for the shaft droop that happens during a golf swing. I've tried this with about 15 PGA Tour players and about five LPGA Tour players in every scenario at the best, the highest level of the game, uh, we have gained strokes in greens and regulation. So I, we love that. Gears curve is, is new to us today, um, but it turns out that that's not always the case. I've interviewed Lee Trevino actually, and he said, you know what? I used to do that when I was a kid or when I was playing, my clubs all had pretty much consistent lie angles. I think when custom fittings kind of started, uh, we kind of all just said, hey, it'd be simple just to kind of figure out what your number or color or whatever it is, and then we'll just bend them all to that number. Well, that's not how they used to do it, and it's not really how I think we should do it now. So the gears curve was born out of a study that I was able to do with uh, 10 Korean uh, LPGA players. So I, I took a set of irons right off the rack, and I markered each one up with the gears markers, calibrated each one, and then I had 10 players hit five shots with each club, blind, with gears, with track man, into a net. 10 out of 10 in every scenario, the long iron went more right than the short iron. That was where the gears curve was born. We need to make the long irons more upright to compensate for the shaft droop. The shaft is gonna droop more the longer it gets. Um, so we have to bend the golf club upright to compensate for that. And with the wedges, we needed to bend the club flatter to compensate for the lack of shaft droop that those wedge shafts were getting because they are stiffer, they're shorter. Pick any club in your bag to get the shape that you want. Bend it just however you need, bend it up, bend it down, whatever you need to get the shape shop that you like. And then measure that club. Once it's bent to your liking, measure it. And whatever that number is, the gears curve is saying that that's basically what all your clubs should be. That's your number. What's gonna happen is your deviation is gonna come way in. You're basically just gonna hit your wedges straight and you're gonna hit your four iron straight. There's no more long irons going right or wedges pulling. Um, we've just had so much success with this and I'm really excited to introduce this concept to the world.